All right, all right, all right. Shalom, boys. Yeah. Well, now I'm gonna talk about something very passionate, uh, uh, and it needs to be talked about because see, there's very few men out there that can really stand on business, that can move on the word and stand on business, and 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 be real men of honor and integrity. And you know what sparked this was initially the Cat Williams. Steve Harvey uh, incident where we all know it's the largest most popular YouTube podcast interview in YouTube history with 70 million views and you gotta understand uh, when you have men that can stand on business and speak truth without having to worry about any kind of repercussions with regards to people uh, touching your pocket, touching your family, touching your life. Now, anybody can do anything to you that they want. Uh, But there is a great degree of freedom of freedom when somebody can stand up and speak truth without having to worry about what somebody else thinks about them. And let me tell you, personally, I don't have no respect for somebody that, uh, you know, you can't admire or respect somebody else without having to worry about what somebody else is going to think about what you're saying. Uh, Let's go back to Cat Williams for a second. The difference between Cat Williams and a man like Steve Harvey is that Steve Harvey is a part of the establishment. Uh, He's a a coon. He's a uh, high-priced butler. Uh, He has to do as he's told. If he want to stay on these shows and if he wants to prosper and continue to make his money, he has to kowtow and he has to step and fence. So therefore, um, he's not a kind of man of honor and integrity because uh, he's a pander. He's a caterer. Uh, That's all he does. Get up and pander to women, uh, pander to the left, getting up there talking about Camila Harris. And I'm telling you, these people, they love him. They love him for it. Um, There's very few men that I know real men uh, that have any kind of respect for a man like Steve Harvey because we know he ain't nothing but a high priced simp you look at other men uh, like well Dave Chappelle I think he on a you know I think he's shaky right now but when you're dealing with people like uh, or Dave Chappelle in his, in his early days uh, and him walking away now you're dealing with men like uh, uh, Charleston White. Uh, you're dealing with men, even Kevin Samuels. You know, I remember when Kevin Samuels came out. Uh, it's It struck a chord. And I admired Kevin Stan- Samuels, and I still do. Just like I admire somebody like Cat Williams, or I admire somebody um, uh, like Charleston White uh, that can stand on business. Because, see, these men... They're self-made men, and they don't have to worry about somebody else coming into their lives and disrupting their lives or having to worry about what they're going to say to offend somebody or if somebody can take something. Let me tell you something. If you're in a position where you can't speak truth because you're concerned about somebody else that you're associated with or acquainted with or know uh, is going to... uh, have some type of negative feel or withdrawal and take something from you, you ain't nothing but a damn bitch to that person. You ain't nothing but a slave. You lack honor and you lack integrity because you, and I know a lot of people like this, man, you know, they disgust me. They really do disgust me. Um, I remember once, uh, you know, Kevin Samuels, I was doing some Kevin Samuels and this elder came and was like, oh, well, you know, uh, out of our team, he's like, well, you know, uh, we don't, uh, like to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, admire or, you know, uh, give homage to anybody else outside of us. I said, are you out of your, out of your damn mind? Who do you think you are to tell me, a grown-ass man, who I can and cannot admire? There ain't no man on the face of planet Earth that's going to tell me who I can and cannot admire. Who I can and cannot show admiration for. You got to be out of your damn mind. You got to be sick in your mind. And see, this is where you got these psychopathic, megalomaniac, 
um, uh, 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 psychotic uh, dictators. These these people that think that they can really control your thoughts, really control um, uh, uh, who you can admire, who can you show honor and respect for? Because see, they want all the honor and respect. They want all the honor. They want all of the homage. They want all the exhortation. See, they want it to be for them. And if you don't give it all to them, then they'll withhold it, take something from you, or persecute you. These are not the kind of people that you want to be around. These people lack honor and they lack respect. They have none of my respect. Any man that can do that, that can muzzle you. Just because you show honor and respect to somebody or admire somebody's work that is doing, what they're doing, are you serious? See, we got this. This is a huge problem in this day and age. It's a huge problem. I had to check this cat. Who do you think you are? Who in the hell do you think you are? I mean, it just stirs a spirit up in me to think that just because I was doing Kevin Samuels videos, you you mean to tell me you're trying to check me on that? You know why? Because these people were in the same space as Kevin Samuels. And he blew up as a relationship to us. He blew up and he exceeded them. Uh, and, 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 and you see how it goes? See, it all goes back to... My... This mother... Yo, these people are crazy. He had plenty of them to get over. But you got these people that honestly believe that they have a sovereign right to tell you who you can have honor and respect for. I mean, do we all not have, uh, you know, uh, Malcolm X? There's not a man alive, Hebrew or Greek, that I wouldn't think that couldn't show honor and respect for Malcolm X in despite of his religious or political differences. Louis Farrakhan. I, I don't I, I don't follow the nation of Islam, but I can honor and respect the words and the and the statements and the sayings and the and the, and, the, and, and, and and the speeches and the sermons that he's given to uplift people. If you associate with anybody that's doing it to you, you don't need to be associated with them. Because they're tyrants. They're spiritual and psychological tyrants. Just because I showed honor and respect to Louis Farrakhan? I'm not a Muslim. I don't subscribe to uh, their philosophies, but that don't mean that I can't honor somebody um, uh, from that organization. Stand on business. If you, you see, and this is why I say real friends, real assets, real skills. Because if you're docile and you're dependent on somebody else and they can control and manipulate you in this fashion, you ain't no real man. You're not no real man. I'm telling you, I don't see these men as real men. I see them as a bunch of bitches. That's exactly what they are. A bunch of bitches. I don't care how big, how masked, how strong. I don't care. I don't care. But that's the difference between a Cat Williams and a Steve Harvey. A man that can stand on business. A man can speak the truth without having to worry about uh, uh, being deprived of his livelihood. Or being something taken away from him. As opposed to a man like Steve Harvey. That he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a whore for the system. That's all he is. A pandering whore. Sold his soul. Don't sell out. Always be a man of honor and integrity. Always stand on business. Because if another man can't respect you for that, he don't need to be in your life.